Welcome to another installment of the AMSOIL Information Series. I'm Rob Stenberg. Today we get to talk about toys, specifically snowmobiles, and we're going to talk about exhaust power valves. Everybody's talking about them. With me today, Mr. Len Groom, Technical Product Manager with AMSOIL and Power Sports. Len, thanks for being here today. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it very much. Now tell me, what's one of the main issues that people see with exhaust power valves? The biggest issue that you see with an exhaust power valve is sticking, if it, if it, fail, if it fails to operate. So maybe I should back up just a little bit. What does an exhaust power valve do for a two-stroke engine? Exhaust power valves allow a two-stroke engine to be more usable across a real wide RPM band. It'll give it good power down low when you go to take off. Okay. It'll also give you the good power up top. So what exactly would make a power valve stick? The very design of the, of the exhaust power valve can contribute to sticking. Uh, these things work in the exhaust stream of the engine. So anything that the engine burns, the gasoline, the oil, is all going to make its way past that power valve. And if it's, gonna, if it, if it's forming deposits or there's carbon involved, mm -hmm. it's going to end up stuck on the valve. So if a power valve, exhaust power valve does stick, what, kind of, what does that do to the performance of the engine? You're going to see all kinds of performance related issues. If the valve sticks closed, uh, the engine won't have any top speed. Uh, if the valve sticks uh, open, the, the, the low speed of the engine will be real bad. You'll go to take off and it won't do it. And you don't want any of that to happen if you're out on the trail? No, that's no fun for anyone. All right, so can we take one of these off, take a look at one of them? We sure can. Great. All right, so Len, what am, what am I looking at? Is this good, bad, and different? Well, if you take a look at this valve, you're looking for, like we talked about, we're looking for depositing, you're looking for carbon. Uh, this little bit of oil that you're seeing around here on mm -hmm. the edges, that's normal, they're all gonna do that. You wanna see this. If you pulled it out and you saw all kinds of hard carbon on it, you'd know right away. So with this particular example, what we can do is we can actually wipe away this little bit of oil that's left over. And what you can see is that there's virtually no depositing on this valve at all. Wow, that's clean. It's very clean. This is actually a real good example. So if you have a clean valve, that means you're gonna have a good day on the trails. You're gonna have a good day. This valve will operate freely. It'll, this thing will provide, this one didn't really need to be cleaned, Rob. Great. Can we take a look at the valve off of this machine? Yeah, we sure can. Great. So Len, tell me, what am I looking at here with this valve? Well, what you're looking at here is the start of a problem, Rob. If you take a look real closely at this particular valve, after we've wiped away the excess oil, you're looking at carbon deposits. And if we take a razor blade and we scrape just a little, Ooh. you can start to see the carbon forming on this valve. So I've got a problem started with this valve. You've got a, the start of a problem. This sled runs okay right now, but it's not going to stay that way and why it's so important for me to use a high quality two cycle oil like Amsoil Interceptor in a machine just like this. Yeah, in Interceptor is formulated specifically to fight this problem. Uh, it's not prone to depositing. You'll see, uh, you won't see any of, this, any of this excessive carbon buildup like we're seeing on this valve. And like we already said, this sled still works good. This would be, if, if I were to give you the example of, let's say you ran over a, a nail. Um, Maybe the air is going to stay in your tire for a while, but eventually it's going to leak out of there and you're going to have a problem. This particular carbon buildup problem is just like that. It may work today, but it may not work tomorrow or the next day, and eventually it's probably going to leave you on the trail. And it's going to ruin my day. It is. So one last question, Lynn. If I continue to let that problem occur, what am I going to be looking at then? If the valves stick, let's say they stick in a closed position and they're stuck in the exhaust stream, you see excess heat buildup, we see all kinds of issues that, that'll come from that, and the end result could be costly engine repair. Well, we want to help people avoid that. We do. Len, thanks for being here today. We appreciate all your information. For the Amsoil Information Series, I'm Rob Stenberg. We'll see you next time.